I was pissed. Everyone around me was pissed. Ryan, the first Ryan Holling said the first thing he said to me after we got up off the knee, he said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for our fans. Because we had someone chanting USA when they don't understand what kneeling means. They don't understand why we're kneeling. They can't see the reason. They just think they just think we're the ignorant ones. And it's incredibly frustrating. I'm sorry to to have this tone, but you have to call it for what it is. I, I even I even knew when we decided to kneel, I knew it was gonna happen. I had a feeling that that that's how, that's that should that should tell you guys something that I knew it was gonna we were gonna have some negative pushback from having a unified response over what's going on. That's the problem. That's a problem. We're here to react to Reggie Cannon's comments and what we saw last night. Hercules Gomez and Shaka Hislop with us. Shaka, I, I want to start with you, and I want to start with what Reggie had to say. Yeah, I, I think he's absolutely right. Having played at, at Dallas myself understand uh, understanding what that team means to this city, understand what this game means to, to this country and, and to the wider world, and to uh, and knowing full well how, how wide this audience is uh, and, and the way that people continue to look to, to the U.S. For, for example, to have your own fans booing you in the stadium for kneeling during an anthem while you are protesting um, the, 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 the continued violence uh, against African Americans at, at the hands of law enforcement, while you are protesting the continued inequality uh, as it relates to race here in this country, that's how that's how the fans respond. On on the one hand, I want to say I am desperately disappointed, but on the other, in in a, in a, in a way, I, I'm I'm not all that surprised given the political rhetoric around it, how it continues to be misframed and misrepresented, and ultimately. Um, the, the players and, and, and in particular people of, of color in wider society um, have this burden to bear that, that others feel they, they, they shouldn't or should just accept. I, I, I for one, and I'm going to join Reggie Cannon on this, I, I, I can't. I won't. I, 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 there, there's simply nothing in me that says that I should. Hercules. We've spoken to MLS about the national anthem and they've said that as long as spectators are in the stadium, then it will be played before the games. What happened at the MLS's back tournament, obviously there were no spectators, there was no national anthem and there was feel, feeling of collectiveness around the players and the league that there was certainly a point being made. Having the national anthem now being played and seeing what happened last night and which will probably happen wherever it is played in front of spectators and the reaction from the players reciprocated, is this not a backward step? It really is. Do you think about all that goodwill that the league earned in MLS's back uh, with the no playing of the national anthem, with standing, or I should say kneeling with its players in this cause, in this righteous cause, all that has gone out the window now. Now, what... Regardless of how you feel, this is a sad reflection of what's going on, not only in this country, but across the world. And for MLS to know that this was a possibility and just say, you know what, that's not our problem. We will wash our hands of this. Let FC Dallas, let these teams, teams govern themselves in a, in a sense and do this and take the brunt of it. Because everybody was watching MLS back. Everybody wanted to see, can the bubble work? Everybody wanted to see, what is Major League Soccer's stance going to be uh, with the players finding social injustice and these racial inequalities? All right, we saw that. What, what about when nobody is looking? What about when FC Dallas and Nashville are playing midweek uh, with a bunch of other things going on? Will the league step in? Will they do what's right? Reggie Cannon said they asked for the anthem not to be played. How much clearer can that be when both teams are asking for the same thing and the league says, yeah, but you know what? We don't care. We don't care enough about what you're asking for. We will play because it is our protocol. Because we said we wanted to, we will play the MLS anthem and the national anthem. It doesn't make sense to me. All that goodwill you just earned, you just held up right now in Florida uh, amidst a pandemic, it's gone down drain. Shaka? Uh, listen, to, to build on, on uh, what Herc is saying there, and um, having grown up in, in Toronto, Tobago, having played the bulk of, of my professional football in, in England, I don't understand um, the playing of the national anthem before club games. Where, where I grew up, where I played, national anthems were played before national team games. 
But the playing of national anthems uh, has become a, a political tool of late. Listen, I understand that it, its origins back, I think it was during World War I, when it was played during the seventh inning stretch and in, in, in baseball games. You understand the, the, the importance uh, and, and, and value of having, having it maybe then. But since that time, some 100 years later, it's become um, a, a, a political tool, uh, particularly of, of late. And you understand the, the role that armed forces plays in this country and, that, uh, and the investment they make into these leagues. But to have the anthem be used for political gain, one way or the other, in the way that it has, just goes against everything that I know and, and, and have experienced. So why do you continue? And, and I think at some point, somebody has to address this head on. Somebody has to make that stand. We, we saw what NFL did with Colin Kaepernick four years ago, despite the fact that he articulated what he was doing, why he was doing it, despite the fact that he went to Marine to ask about how best to effectively protest um, law enforcement uh, injustice, um, and, and, and this is what they both came up with. He took more advice on, on, on what he was doing than anybody has in, in, in their response. Yet we are still here. Yet you see what's being, what, how it's being painted on, on, on political podiums and how it has become a, a, a political tool. That is, is simply beyond me. Now, somebody, maybe, maybe it, it, it was, the time was right for, for MLS to make that call, that we aren't going to be, we aren't going to subject ourselves to that kind of political toing and throwing. Maybe MLS just didn't see themselves as big enough and powerful enough to, 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 to make that call. Maybe it will be the NBA. Maybe it will be the NFL. But somebody has got to because you've got to address it. The last thing I think anybody wants, regardless of where you stand on this, is that the national anthem becomes a tool of politicization. Nobody wants that. I don't think it does anybody any good. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.